In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this text motion graphics in DaVinci Resolve. So let's drag in our Fusion composition and right click, then select Open in Fusion page. And let's drag in our background and also a text. Connect the text with the background and let's go ahead, type in any text. And the font that I'm going to be using is Poppins. And for this one, I'm just going to change this to black. And let's go ahead and drag in another text. Connect this text with this merge and let's go ahead and type in anything that you want. I'm just typing in this. And I'm going to use the same font that we did before, but I'm going to keep this at bold. All right, so for this one, go over to the layout and change the type from point to circle. And you will see that they have this text in a circular position. Now what you can do is go back to the text and from here, just copy this and add a space and then add in this text once again. And do that a couple of times until you see that this is okay, close to closing in. Now go over to the layout and from here, just change the transform from characters to words. And if you change the spacing here, you will see this is how it looks. And another way to do that is if you go back to the layout, you can change the width like this. So this is up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and do this with the spacing so that this is much more visible. And let's go over to the text and change this to 0 0.05. Okay. And now what you can do is use the width. So we have the positioning done, but we don't want to space this too much because this won't look very nice. So let's go over to the layout and I'll play with the width until we see that this looks okay. So just drag this over here and now it looks perfect. All right. And now we need to add a outline. So let's drag in this background and also the ellipse tool. Connect the ellipse to the background and the background to the verse 3. And change the background color to red and go over to ellipse. And from here, change the unselect the solid and then change the border width to 0 0.005. And here you will see if we get the outline. But let's go over to width, right click, select expression, and then connect it to the height. From here now, you can decrease this until it is close to our text. So let's just increase this a little bit like this. So now it looks much nice. But for the text one, let's just go ahead and change this to 0 0.1 so that this looks more prominent. Okay, and now we will start animating. So first let's go over to text one, go over at zero, go over to shading, create a keyframe at opacity, and then at 10, let's create another keyframe at opacity. And in the first one, let's change this to zero. So first animation done. Secondly, we will go over to the text tool. And from here, we will start animating our text. So the first thing is the size. Let's go over to, let's say 20, create a keyframe at size and then at five. Let's decrease this here and it looks okay. Then let's also go over at zero and go over to this rotation section and then change the X slightly like this at 60 and create a keyframe. And let's go over to, let's say 30 frames and then change this back to zero. So if we play this now, this is how it will look. And let's also change the opacity for this. So go over to shading and then at five frames, create a keyframe at opacity. And at zero, let's change this to zero. Now let's go over to spline make sure that we select our text tool just unselect the opacity only select the layout size and the angle and let's go ahead see where the keyframes are so select all the keyframes and press s on your keyboard and if you play this now this is how it will look so now let's animate our outline as well so go over to the ellipse and from here let's go over to let's say 40 frames and change the length to zero and the position to zero as well. And make sure that the cap style is at flat. Create keyframes at zero, zero, 
and then change this to one then go over to 10 frames and change this to zero so now if you play this this is how it will look and if you think that this is a little too fast you can go over to spline unselect this make sure you only select the position and length and then select these keyframes go over to let's say 30 only select this frame at the end and just move this right here all right so this looks fine so here we are in the main timeline and this is how the animation looks so this was it for this video i hope you found this video useful and i'll see you in the next one